Hey everyone, in this video, I will show you how to send HTML form data, including media files, directly to the Google Sheet and store those media files on a Google Drive. Plus, we will display the data retrieved from the Google Sheets in an HTML table, all without needing any backend server. So, this is the part 2. In the part 1, we covered how to send basic form data to Google Sheet. So, if you haven't seen that, you can check the link in the description. In this part, we will focus on uploading media files from HTML form, storing them and displaying the data fast from Google Sheet in the HTML table. Let's take an overview. So here we have the HTML form where you can enter your details like name, email, contact number. So the key part of this video is you can upload a media file from this HTML form and when you submit this form, you will get all the detail in your Google Sheet. So when you upload any media file, it will be stored on the Google Drive and you will get the link of that media file in your Google Sheet. On the Google Drive, we have a folder where we get all the images uploaded from the HTML form. And the next thing we are going to do in this video is we have some data in the Google Sheet. We are going to display this data in the HTML table where we have search functionality, pagination and the best thing is we are going to do all these things without any backend. Let's get started with the Google Drive setup. On the Google Drive, you need to create a new folder where you want to store the images uploaded from the HTML form. From here, you can create a new folder, name the folder and create it. And now you just need to copy the ID of this folder. Just click on this folder and uh, you can copy the ID from the URL. We are going to use this ID in our app script. Now you are all done with the Google Drive setup. Now let's see how we can upload media files. So in this HTML form, we have some input fields that you can see here. So here we have an input field for media files and uh, we have passed the ID media so that we can handle it in the JavaScript. So let's check the JavaScript code. This JavaScript code is to handle form submission from HTML page and send data including media files to Google Sheet web app. So here first we have script URL that you will get when you deploy your app script that is already discussed in the part 1. And here in this code we are handling the file upload. First we check if the file has been uploaded. If it is uploaded, file reader object reads it as a base64 encoded data URL. And here we apply the size validation that the file should be less than 2 MB and then we append the base64 data to form data and call submit form function. We disable the submit button and changes its text to loading during the form submission. And then we use fetch to send the post request to the script URL with the form data. If submitted, we will get this success message. And if there is any error, we will get this error message. And then we reset the submit button and change the text back to submit. So when you upload your media file and submit this form, you will see the loading text here. And now you need to handle the data sent from the HTML form in the Google Apps Script. Go to the extension and then App Script. And here you need to add this code. You will get the source code in the description. So this is the App Script where we handle the data sent from the HTML form. Here we have the name of the sheet. This is the ID of the folder that we created on the Google Drive. And then here we handle the media file upload where we first check if the media parameter is present in the incoming request. So this parameter have base64 encoded image string. So we decode the base64 encoded string to binary data and then we specify the type and the default file name. Then we retrieve the folder in the Google Drive by its ID. We upload the file to the specified folder and then we retrieve the URL of the uploaded file and then add the link of the file in the Google Sheet. And if there is no media parameter provided, we will add the empty value and after this you need to deploy your app script and now you are all done with handling the file upload. Let's test this functionality. Right now we have nothing in the folder. We created on drive and now let's uh, upload an image so i am going to upload this image and submit the form and after the form submission you can see we get the data in the google sheet and here we have the link of the google drive this is the image we uploaded and if we check on the google drive you can see we have that image uploaded here and now let's see how you can display this data in the html table uh, for that you just need to add do get function in your app script that fetches data from the Google Sheet, format it as a JSON and returns it as an HTTP response. So basically when you deploy your app script, you will get an web app URL. And when you access this URL, you will get the data that we have in the Google Sheet. Now we will display this data in the HTML table. So in the HTML, we have already created the table headings and in the table body, we will dynamically load the data. In the JavaScript, we first define the web app URL and then we fetch the data from web app URL and then the JSON data received is processed and each entry is used to create a new table row and each row is appended to the body of the table and here data table is initialized to enable features like pagination and search. When you run this HTML page, you will get the table where you can see uh, we retrieve all the data from the Google Sheet and this is the image link. You can open it, it will open the Google Drive link. So that's all for the video. If you found this video useful, you can like the video and subscribe the channel for more content like this.